Hello guys, welcome to the farm. I'm making the trip back up. It's that time again. We have a goat in labor. This time it is a first freshener, a first timer, one that has never had babies before. So Star is her name and she is a very sweet girl. She is pretty attached to me. So I did put her in a stall at first and she didn't she wasn't thrilled about that. I came out at, it's like 6.30 right now in the evening on the 13th. So I came out about at about three and she had barely, just barely had ligaments. And then I had a session, I had a horse session um, with one of our participants that comes to the farm for equine therapy. And I came out, I guess it was probably about 4.30, no ligaments. So I'm gonna assess, I've got gloves. I've got these pants on where I got gloves gloves in this pocket and my phone in that pocket and towels. I'm actually going to take some alf alpha in and just assess, see where she's at. Farmer Mike and Weston are at Subak Do and I'm going to make some, I'm just going to check on them. Then I need to go down and just make some chicken salad really quick for them, depending on how, depending on where she's at. So we'll go in here and get some, get some alfalfa. <coughs> boy yeah she's visibly contracting she's by herself oh my gosh I, um her udder is exploded all right i know bubbles you know i have food don't you <laughs> all right let me get you look at these two there's tucker and there is willow so weston he our son he's so good at naming the animals and i just can't resist it i have to go with it hi mama all right i'll give you all a little bit okay I'm gonna give y'all a little bit. This is Timothy and Alfalfa. I'm gonna see if she'll follow me. Someone else is gonna follow me. No bubbles. So typically thinking first timer, it's probably gonna be a buck. You're gonna have a singleton, aren't you, mama? Huh? Hi, Nellie. So Nellie is next and her ligaments are soft. But then after that, all I have is peaches, the one that's on the um, picnic, well, she was on the picnic table. And she's not until July 23rd, I have her date down. And she would be the first one with our herd sire, Romeo, our blue-eyed. So we could have blue-eyed polled babies. And polled means horse horses, oh my gosh. A goat's born um, naturally without horns. I'm just gonna hang out in here with her for a little while. She doesn't seem to be anxious, but I do wanna get some hay and water in here for her. Oh, hooked her in the eyeball. Um, and I wanna watch her for just, you know, maybe 10 minutes and see if she's, um, you know, contracting regularly. See if she wants to bed down. She did bed down a couple times in the paddock before I went down to the house. My biggest thing right now is I wanna make sure that she is um, okay with being in here with me. You know, just not freaking out. I don't want adrenaline to kick in and making sure the goats aren't getting out. Um, and dilute that oxytocin that's keeping her moving further in her labor. And I'll get an eye on how her contractions are. But she's very, uh, she's very in your lap kind of goat with me. You're just so sweet. What are they doing in there? No, it's the paneling. I thought the goats, so we've had such high winds. If you look up there on top, the skylights, the, the paneling is coming up. We have to replace lots of them. So just, we've had horrible winds like a lot of people have had. Okay, so I'm making the decision to go ahead and just let her out and let her do her thing out here with her herd. I'm just gonna go make dinner and I'm gonna come back up and then see where she's at. Hi baby, hi Colby, hi Colby, you're so cute. That was really close. That was really close. And this Willow. Hi, Willow. It's so cute. All right, I wanna show y'all. This is my soap that will be for our anniversary here. I'm testing it out. So these are all clays. Isn't that so pretty? So I have uh, rose clay in here. I have yellow clay with a natto seed and then green clay, and then this is an, a indigo powder infused with um, blue clay, and then this is a, um, supposed to be a purple alkanet root powder and purple clay, but I think adding the alkanet root powder made it turn more of a burgundy. Anyway, May 5th is our anniversary. These soaps will be ready and for our, our celebration. All right, this is my chicken salad. So I put four chicken thighs and 
um, an apple. I used about like two tablespoons of, of avocado mayonnaise and some garlic, sea salt, and mustard, honey, and some curry powder. And I just mix that up. Now you can also add, I've added broccoli slaw, which is also really good. It creates more volume. This is just for the two boys. So I'm gonna make myself a protein drink, but I'll leave the recipe down below. So good, it's quick and it's great for summertime. It's nice and cool. All right, it is now eight o'clock. It's getting dark. So it's been about an hour since I've been up. I was able to make food and my protein drink and also pack an order. Anything happening, Mama? Aww. This is the other one I need to check. I'm hoping she'll let me. Sweet girl. <laughs> nope. She barely has ligaments. I had her down the end of April, so I thought she had a few more weeks, but I mean, her ligaments can be a little squishy for a while. Oh, and my lights just came on. Oh. <laughs> Well, good morning. It is 6.30 on the 14th of April, and I actually slept in that hammock for about an hour last night, but then um, watched her and realized she was just uncomfortable. She was having contractions every once in a while, but it wasn't like, oh, she's gonna bed down and start pushing. She really wants out with her friends this morning. Well, hi. Hello. How are you, Colby? I'm just watching her. I, I saw her have a really good contraction on the camera and she's got a little bit of discharge, not like mucus right before the baby comes kind of discharged. Someone's chewing on my hair. Stop chewing on my hair. So I'm just gonna watch her then feed the rest of the animals. I gotta feed the horses. And well, it is now 1.47 in the afternoon and we actually saw a little bit of pushing. She's been up and down and up and down and up and down trying to line these babies. I think we actually have pushing happening now. Come on, you got it. Take a break. Um, okay, all right, there you go. That's motivation, isn't it? Yeah, this is your baby. There you go. Big. Breathe. Move his mouth around. 
There's your baby. There's your yes. There you go, Mama. There you go. There you go. Come on. I know, but I have to get get some space in here so I can see where the legs are. Yeah. So I can see where the legs are. So unless this is a really long baby, I feel something here already. Mm. There you go. You want to push? Go ahead. Come on. Are the feet back? Can yeah. you tell? Oh, I can tell. Hey, Mama. Come on, Mama. See, there's your baby. You ready? You ready? Huh? There you go. You ready? Yeah, come on. Here we go. I gotta figure out where these feet are. Okay, I think I feel one here. All right, Mama, come on. Here we go. Oh my gosh, where is the feet? I can't get to the shoulders. Here you go. Come on. All right, Lord, I need help here. Okay. So, um, we turned the camera off. Um, I had to go in and I really didn't think this guy was going to make it, but I was at the point where I had to save mom. Um, I think he was folded up in there. If you can see his legs, how they're, they're just kind of not going straight. So I think he's folded up in there. I've got a vet, um, going to call me and then come out. Mama's doing good. Um, but I want her checked out because I really had to go in and um, pull and well not I, I, I was trying to grab a shoulder and I couldn't I couldn't reach around I was feeling this part and I had to get I was trying to get around to get my finger under to bring a leg forward at least and then be able to get him out so um, he's gonna have a hard time standing I believe because his legs are see how his legs are and I think he was just folded up in there like that um, so we'll just give him some time mama's taking good care of him I'm gonna give her some banamine. I'm um, waiting to, to, for the vet to tell me how much I need to give her, but I just wanna make sure there is, uh, there's nothing left in there. I don't think she's got any more. I actually think the placenta's come in, so. So he has, mama's eating, she's had drench. Um, he's nursed. He is folded up. Um, I will show you, I'll go in and show you his legs. Um, basically he was folded up in there so he's walking on his joint not his hoof his front um, and that should correct now what I have done is I called into the vet I'm giving her some banamine um, it's an anti-inflammatory pain medicine because I had to do so much manipulating in there and you know I'm not gonna film all that it's unnecessary um, and um, preparation H is great also so I can put on her bum and help her. She's delivering her placenta now. Um, he has con continued to nurse. He's nursed a couple times. He's go back and nurses. But we're going to work on getting his legs straightened out. This is what I was afraid of. A big buck. She's um, a Nigerian dwarf. She's not a deep wide Nigerian like my others. Um, but she was bred appropriately to a buck, you know, that I know some of the line of that buck and I know they're not huge bucks and I'm going to ask for that. Should I breed her again? It just, I mean, this, I know this is the first time, but that's, these are the things I ask myself. I don't want to cause us unnecessary harm. So I'm going to take you in and show that, but something else has happened during all of this. Nelly, our Nigerian dwarf is, um, bagged up. So I haven't gotten a good hold of her ligaments, but she's next. So. I'll close out showing this little dude. He is a fighter. You know when you have to go in and get a, uh, if to go in and get a um, a kid, um, you know you don't want to pull on the head. I, I was trying to reach around and hook a shoulder or hook a leg or or something to where that I can just kind of pull down when she pushes. 
Ugh. Um, and I was so worried, but it was starting to get to the point where it was about saving mom. Um, but I still didn't pull in the head. I really tried to get in there and I just prayed. I was like, Lord. And when I went back in, I was able to feel the, um, where the arm, you know, the, the shoulder and the joint was, and I could hook around and, and, and I got him. I just moved kind of side to side. So let's take a look at him. So see, he's on his joint and we're going to straighten it out and get him to stand on his foot. It's just going to take a couple of days for him to get straightened out and to stand on that. So he'll, it will, I'm going to put them in the bigger stall, but she is being an excellent mom. Excellent mom. If I had a thousand tongues, I would sing with everyone. Voices like a mountain song.